Hello everyone, my name is Abiatal. I'm greeting you from the northern part of Namibia. Uh, I was just taking a drive around and I could still tell that our people are still living in fear. There's too much anxiety because of this coronavirus, the pandemic which is spreading throughout the world. Yes, it may evoke fear. But, you know, what we have to do is to accept change. We all hope that this is a change which is temporary, uh, especially if we follow the precautions provided to us by the health personnel. Um, it is all about washing our hands thoroughly. We are talking of sanitizing our hands objects and surfaces that we use on a daily basis. We are talking of uh, isolating ourselves when we suspect that we have uh, been in contact with people who are infected with coronavirus. It is also so unfortunate that coronavirus symptoms are similar to that of flu. It might be difficult to differentiate now whether you are infected by corona or you have mere flu. But at this moment in time, I just advise us to take care of ourselves and to ensure that we, in as much as we can, try to keep ourselves from any possible way that can promote infection. Um, I've also sensed confusion within our people. Yes, people are wearing masks. Some are wearing gloves at malls. I've seen people interacting, although interaction was cut off. Uh, you find someone wearing gloves and yet enjoying some buildings. Now, what kind of health are we prom promoting here? Um, His Excellency, our President, declared a state of emergency upon the arrival of Corona in our country. The intention is to keep his people safe. He wants to protect us. But now, if us the people are also not protecting ourselves from this uh, virus, then I find it very challenging because coronavirus spread or infect you and me once you touch your mouth, your nose, your eyes, your ears, or let me say your face after being in contact with the saliva of someone of someone who is infected. So it is really difficult to keep your hands away from your face. In my case, I touch my face a million times a day. So the most possible way is to keep yourself safe by staying at home. Why should you be in groups out there? It is not yet the right time. The right time will come when Corona has stopped. Um, I've also seen that there are some who feel like Corona is still very far away. Yes, you may feel so, but as much as it is far, it is just as much as it, is, as it, is, it can be near. The first cases were mentioned in China. Today, Corona is everywhere. Please let us keep ourselves safe. Um, I also do not uh, look down upon our traditional ways of uh, treating um, these kinds of flu. Corona has symptoms which are similar to flu. And we are told that Corona struggled to survive in hot temperatures. When I was growing up, I remember 
my grandmother would use leaves of this tree it is called a niam tree and it is all over namibia i'm sure you have it at home even outside namibia although it is not um, proven scientifically that this can be inhaled my grandmother boiled water many a times when we had flu we covered ourselves in a blanket boiled water with leaves put inside we inhale that hot temperature the hot smoke or whatever you call it so i understand that inhaling this um do you call it smoke kills the pathogens in the throat it may suppress the lord of uh the virus let it be flu or coronavirus so whenever you suspect that you have flu you may still use this it might help or you may check with your health professional and get advice from him and especially if you know that you are in contact with an infected person or if you suspect that you were in contact with a person who has traveled please seek medical attention it is not yet too late to change uh, our mindset from thinking that corona is far or corona is here to take us away we may think so but we still have the power to defeat this corona Think of the street kids out there at this moment in time. They wish they had a home so that they can hide away from Corona. Think of the refugee. Imagine in a camp, one toilet per 200 or more refugees. Think of yourself who has a house with only two or three of your family members yet you don't want to stay at home is that fair let us stay at home i know it is very hard to stay at home i also felt so when uh, the lockdown was declared but i just learned that i've got a lot of things that i love doing i teach my kids how to cook i play with my kids i cultivate I have a lot of farming to do. I've got a lot of seedlings. I read. I write. You can also do the same. Keep yourself busy. Try not to go out there for no reasons. Go there when it's needed. And for those who are out there at work, please sanitize your hands as many times as you can. Sanitize your tables, surfaces, dog knobs, and any other objects that you use at most. We will defeat this corona, I tell you, especially if we follow the, the precautions. I also advise all of us to follow the news, especially from World Health Organization, and to share best practices with those that we can reach be it through social media or any other way which does not encourage physical interaction uh, now it's like i was sounding too serious all along but i just wanted to pass out this message to you let us keep safe uh, let us stay at home and let us make sure that we promote hygiene. Let us also educate our children about this corona. Let us let them understand that it is a virus which is spreading fast and give them all the precautions that can save all of us. Now, you have yourself a good day. 
take care of yourself and your loved one. Bye.